Hey guys, welcome to another video. As spring fishing season is right around the corner, I wanted to go over two of my go-to fishing rigs, perfect for all your bottom fishing. Hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, I appreciate your support. For tonk fishing, I usually don't recommend going less than 30 pounds, or my favorite is usually anywhere between 30, 40, or, or 50 pound flow carbon liter. So what I have here is about uh, 6 feet of flow carbon liter. Um, I usually start uh, by making a loop for the uh, sinkers first, and I'll, I'll take about know, approximately 8 inches. Um, just make a, a loop as such, twist that around twice. One, two, and pull. There you go. Uh, depending on what size sinker you'll be using, you can always uh, size the loop accordingly. Just cut it back in. All right. Now that we have a nice loop here for sinker, what I'll do is I usually go up about 6 to 8 inches and start a loop, creating a loop about 9 inches long. And once you do so, I'll take this, loop it over, and then twist it about 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six. All right. Now we have it about six times, and we're just gonna pull it gently. Now, one thing that you want to make sure is before pulling this uh, nut tight, uh, you want to make sure that this is moistened uh, properly first uh, to avoid any weaknesses in the fluorocarbon line. So you might either use a saliva, but in this case, I'll be using a. I have to have a wet towel here. All right. So let's pull this tight. Pull this nice and tight. Now that we have created our first knot and about a loop of eight inches, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab each side of the main line. Let's loop it over each other All right. and flip them about six to seven times so one two three four five six seven it's almost like a, a drop a loop all right once you made a loop what you're going to do is pull the loop the main loop and the knot the first knot through the opening but what you want to do is don't pull this knot way out of the opening you want to you want to keep this knot as close as possible to the main line and what you'll do is start pulling this tight all right um, here again it is very important that you keep this moist before tightening this up all right Now that I have this wet, I can pull this slowly tighter. Okay. Now, when you're pulling this tight, you definitely want to make sure that this knot here is as close as possible to the main line. You don't want any play because you want this to be a, a nice, perfect T knot. And now you see we have a beautiful, perfectly shaped T knot. All right, now that we have a nice T-nut with about an eight inch loop, next thing we're gonna do is, um, we're going to take this loop and cut one side of it as close to the knot as possible. Now that we cut the loop, you'll notice that we have a much longer line for the hook in compared to the sinker line. 
Now this is very important for tog fishing because um, togs usually feed off the bottom uh, so you want the, the hook to be much longer than the sinker line. Check it out. Now one of my favorite hooks to go for tog fishing is the Gamagatsu 4OJ hooks which is the perfect size for tog fishing. Um, to insert the hook what I'll do is I'll take the, the hook line, insert it in the eye, go past the uh, the circle of the hook about I don't know four to five inches loop it back up and then pinch it I'm gonna go around a few times around the hook so one two three four five six all right now you take the tag end and go to the bottom loop of the hook and pull it. Pull the main line. Make sure that line is tight on tight on the hook. There you go. Once that's tight enough, all you have to do is cut the remaining tag end. And there you go. As you can see, the T-nut ensures that the, uh, the hook line is pushed away from the main line, which helps avoid any tangles. My hook line is about 4 inches longer than my sinker line, which is very important because you want your bait to be sitting at the bottom when you're dog fishing. Anything longer than that, in my experience, prevents you from feeling the bite. Uh, you, you all know that talk bites can sometimes be very subtle. So making the hook line too long uh, can also prevent you from feeling the bites at all. So uh, I recommend keeping a maximum 4 to 6 inches longer than the, than the uh, sinker line. To begin tying my hilo rig, I like to start by making a loop for the sinker. Let's take about six to eight inches offline, loop it around, pinch it, and twist it twice, one, and pull. And there you go. To start my first knot, I'll go up about 8 inches, then create a loop of about 6 inches, like this, loop it around, and twist it through the opening about 7 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then gently pull the rest. And then tighten it further. Now that we created our first loop, what we'll do next is you grab each side of the main line, create a loop like this. And twist it for about seven times. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Grab the main loop and pull it through the opening, including the nut. And then you start pulling both sides carefully. Just pull it tightly all the way through. What this knot ensures is that the, the hook line will be pushed away 
from the main line avoiding tangles. Uh, the second loop will be created by moving up from the first loop approximately a foot and a half and create an 8 inch loop like this. You just want to follow the same step that you went through with the first loop. There you go. You will start by attaching the sinker. And to insert the hook, all we do is pinch the loop, go through the eye of the hook, and then through the loop. Voila! That's it. Now we have our first hook. Now if I wanted to change the hook, I can easily just slide this hook out. And insert another hook. Okay. 